Ho, 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 troopers. It's that time of the year. Brandy and eggnog. There's plenty to share. As you can see, uh, I'm making a new video. Yeah. Um, new format, landscape. I have my nice little blue sandy hat. Uh, you can also see the new color customization. Yeah. Um, I'll get into that later. This video serves as both a proper demonstration to my USP and sort of an explanation. I think you guys are owed that much. But now that I have my CO2 canisters, I'm ready to make this video. And I've been, I'm thinking about something. Like, what if I did a video for the 12 days of Christmas? You know, like the carol, or Christmas song goes. On the first day of Christmas, Commander gave to me a brand new Airsoft video. Yeah. So, um, I'll head downstairs to my backyard, and I'll go from there. As you can see, we have cut to being outside. The nice cloudy skies of Camino. Just kidding, we're not on Camino. That place got blown to high hell. So, the HK USP, as you all remember from last video, or not last video, but one of them, I said this was my pride and joy. This was my favorite pistol that I've used because it is the only pistol, actually, no, that's a lie. It is the only airsoft pistol I have used. Um, I've used my friend's Beretta, now as a gas blowback. I have also used his M45. Both of those were nice. This just, it feels good to me. I also recall I have that electric P30 blowback. As I've stated before, that will not be used in an actual match unless I do some serious performance upgrades to it. I, however, am no engineer. So, this holds 16 shots, as you can count right there. You can pause it if you'd like. So, as you remember, this is a CO2 airsoft pistol. There's a CO2 canister right there. 12 grams. Now, how do I get this in there? Well, it's not through the side, it's through the bottom, that little Allen key. Where's your Allen key though? I always keep the spare on me. As you can see, if you open and close it, simple. If I'm gonna fast forward this part. There we are. Take our CO2 canister, we insert it gently, and we start screwing it in. Now, be careful, because CO2 is cold, and it is this is under pressure. I have almost had one explode on me before, it is not fun. Now, what's the, what's the point in using CO2 when you have green gas, you know, you got those, which are, you know, nicer, I guess. They produce more recoil. Uh, and to that, I say CO2, it's cheaper. That's really all it is. Now, if you heard that brief noise, heard that small little, that was the CO2 escaping. That means we punctured it, and we're now ready to fire this and give a proper demonstration to this USP that it deserves. The first shot's always the best. Okay, am I in frame? All right. That's nice, isn't it? Oh, that feels good. That really does. 
And you know what? We still have a lot. I also want to see if you can see on camera. I'm sorry. This, it has been so long since I've actually fired this thing. I love it. All right. Safety on. Magazine out. That never gets old. So, now you have an actual basis. This is also ridiculously accurate, even after how long I've had it, which was about two years. This is about a two-year-old airsoft pistol, and it functions brand stinking new. This is V2, by the way. I'm actually been thinking about getting a second one of these, just to complete the whole, you know, clone captain look, clone commander look, my bad. So, now you have that demonstration. It's also very, it's a hefty pistol, but it's not too heavy. It's like that perfect balance to it, you know? All right, so to the second part of the video, where I've been and why the armor? Well, as I've said before, I've been in a sort of content drought. Um, it's been difficult to find things to make videos over. Um, I would, and if you saw my recent posts, you'll know that I was planning on making the video about my armor and customizing it. That was over, the video itself would have been over four, 45 minutes long. And it wasn't the best quality that I could produce. I know it wasn't. The editing was terrible. And I didn't think it was the clock. I didn't think it was the video that you guys deserved. So I scrapped it. I deleted the video. Um, will I change my mind? Probably not. I firmly stand by that decision I made. And yeah, so why did I feel the need to customize my armor in the first place? Well, I mean, People mistook me for Captain Rex, and it wasn't until a friend of mine actually started talking to me about it and said, all right, well, the 145th color scheme is actually remarkably similar to the 501st. And Captain pa and Commander Pax was, well, me, I was similar to Captain Rex, and that's not something I want to be. I want, I am a unique clone. I am not just another face, another nameless soldier. I am Commander Pax. So we got to thinking and we ended up making a new color scheme. One that still has the same effect of the original palette, but also brings something entirely new to the table. That being the red or the orange. It's red orange, but it looks red. So, um, all of the parts that were gray on my armor are now red. You know, take for instance, my faceplate. You guys saw what color it was before. You guys saw what color my chest plate was before. Everything. It is no longer gray. It's red and blue, uh, specifically teal. So. I'm still the same Cobalt hero, though. I'm still the same commander. Just a little upgrade. So I will endeavor to produce more videos, more quality videos, to you, shut up, car horn. I will endeavor to produce more quality videos and more videos in general over this month and hopefully next year. Um, that will be all, troopers. Uh, I'll see you all on the battlefront. This is Commander Pax, signing off. Oh yeah, also, um, I got new camouflage. Um, will I return to the 
BDUs that I wore originally. More than likely, um, I'm still getting a feel for these um, OCPs. They're nice, I'll give you that. They're very nice. Um, time will tell on that one though, so there's no definitive answer yet. In the meantime, I'm going to dump the rest of this CO2 because I have it. So, you know, Amanda Pax, signing off.